Welcome back to Cadmus, your go-to channel for all things related to computer-aided design, animation, and rendering. In today's tutorial, we'll be exploring how to create a beautiful and intricate cat flower using your favorite design software. If you find this video helpful, be sure to give it a thumbs up and share it with your fellow designers. I appreciate your support. Now let's dive into the world of cat flowers and unleash your creativity. So I got this drawing here. Let's have a look at that. Um, we have a um, diameter, 196 millimeters, a radius um, of that inner part, 36 millimeters. We got a chamfer at the bottom, 10 millimeters at 45 degrees. Then for the flower itself, we got a radius of 112 at the bottom, 98 at the top, a vertical distance of four millimeters. And this radius is 66. And that dimension is tangent to that arc and um, that one and it's at 32 millimeters all right so um, I will post a link to this drawing file in the comment section comment section all right so here's our flower number one and let's start with number two. So I'll start a sketch maybe on this front plane, then a horizontal line, um, that type of shape here. Connect that with a three point arc. We got that center point, and that should be um, horizontally constrained here. All right. And let's apply those dimensions from the drawing. So I start with that radius 66, then that height. 32. I pull that to arrange that here. All right. Um, we got that 36 um, radius here. Still need to pull here. All right. And I'll just um, dimension that angle, 135 degrees, and a distance here of 10 millimeters. OK. OK, I, I still need to apply that constraint here. We get a fully defined sketch. But I'll continue with uh, that three-point arc here. So that is at a vertical distance of 196 divided by 2. Huh? All right. And I will just draw one line here one straight line, make that construction geometry, and then apply a tangent relationship. And that radius is 98. Yeah. I will continue with that three-point arc here, connect that over here. Drop that there. First, I'll apply that 112 
millimeter radius. Then I'll close that gap, dimension that with four millimeters, and okay, apply that um, horizontal relationship here, and we get a fully defined sketch. I finish. Exit the sketch and go into the revolve. Take that region down here. Take that axis. New body. Okay. Keep that sketch visible. Make another revolve as a new body. That same axis. Accept that. So I got this type of body here. Well, two bodies, really. That inner one, that outer one. And start a new sketch on the top plane here, or right plane, in my case here. And I project that outer circle and that inner circle. Okay. I might hide that outer ring and that inner ring and um, draw a line from the origin out here dimension well I gotta project that sketch in sketch number two and then I can dimension that so there are five leaves, and that is half of one leaf. The whole thing is 360, so this has to be 36. I make that construction geometry and one more three point arc. All right, make that tangent and make that coincident and then go to mirror take that object over that line accept that finish that sketch have a look at that and go into the extrude Take this region, go, um, yeah, extrude that, but I want to intersect that with um, this body here. I can define that through all, accept that, show body one, make a circular pattern of that body with that axis five times all right hide that sketch combine well we can take that as a target body and everything join join everything together and there we have our flower now let's apply some color to that. So first blue, then I'll go switch to faces, give that a white, and give those leaves yellow appearance. There it is, our flower. I hope you liked the video, and I see you in the next one.